Greetings, Floss Tube. Today is Sunday, September 25th, 2016. It is 1.49 p.m. East Coast time, coming to you from Sunderland, Massachusetts. I just thought I'd pop in and show you the finish of the little unicorn that I was making for my niece. Um, I finished stitching it Wednesday night, like I mentioned in my last video, but I just, the rest of the weekend, it just, Thursday night I had to pack and everything for the trip, and then Friday night I was gone, and yesterday I was at the game all day. And the game wasn't until 3.30, and it was a televised game, so we didn't even get done until 7.45. We got back here around 10.30, well, 10, 10-ish. 10 um, but for some reason, now when you leave Gillette, they only route you one way, which is the direct opposite way of the way I need to go to get back to 4.95 to get home. So it, it adds a little bit of time getting home, which is kind of a pain, but not that much. I mean, I can just do, you just go up the street and do a U-turn and head back toward the interstate. But so it was an interesting game. Um, we lost 35 to 47 to Mississippi State, which considering we gave up 600 yards of offense, our defense allowed their offense to get 600 yards almost. It probably should have been a whole lot worse than it was. Um, you know, we're making we're making strides. We're improving, but we've got a lot we've got a lot to work on. And quite frankly, you can't really coach mental focus. It's that's the part of the game that we're kind of lacking in right now. I think, um, you know, you can coach fundamentals, you can teach plays, but you can't teach the kids how to have their head in the game. And sadly, that's the part of the the game where we're kind of lagging right now. But the point spread was 24 and a half. Don't ask me how the bookies get the half point in there, but we were supposed to lose by 24, so we covered the spread. We only lost by 12. Um, and for a while there, we were ahead. We probably should have won that game. It's one of those frustrating things where you're like, okay, well, we looked good, but we should have won. If it hadn't been for the mental errors, we probably could have. So I'm happy and yet I'm not. We showed up, we did well, we, nobody got seriously hurt. Had a little bit of a scare because one of our defensive guys who's had a bad knee his whole career got taken down and we thought that he blew his knee out again. But fortunately he just, it was a tweak and he needed to get off the sideline and they looked and made sure his knee was okay and then he was able to go back in. So thank God he wasn't seriously hurt because the kid missed all of 2014 due to a torn ACL and having to have surgery to basically put his knee back together. But anyway, enough of that. That's not why y'all come to floss tube. You come to see our little cross stitch things. And I have to show you this turned out really, I was pleased with how this turned out. It's my sixth finish of the year. And here it is. The cutest constipated unicorn you'll ever see. I backed it with the tie dye felt that I showed you when I first uh, showed you this pattern and this piece that I was working on um, and I used just a little piece of embroidery floss as a hanger as a hanger up there and I have to admit I'm really pleased with how it turned out I mean you know I just thought well hey I'll stitch it on plastic canvas I'll fuse whoops got away from me there I'll fuse a, a piece of felt to it and it's all good and I think it's cute and I'm going to put it in the mail to her tomorrow, and she'll probably think her old auntie is crazy, but hey. But basically, for those of you who don't know, and I know that I'm preaching to the choir with some of you, because some of you, you know, have sewing machines, you've sewed, you've made quilts, you've used this before, but the product I used was, um, it's called Wonder Under, and it's by the Pellin company and it's basically a fusible web which I can only best describe as saying it's like the equivalent of using a double-sided tape in a scrapbook because you get a sheet it's it's basically a very thin and I would show you here but it probably wouldn't show up on the camera so I'll just describe it it's a very thin web of glue on a paper backing and so what I did was I took my piece of felt and you take the fusible web glue side down to the wrong side of the fabric of course and you iron it to the fabric and then what I did was I took this little guy and I traced him on the paper and I cut out the fabric in this case the felt 
Um, and then I just made sure everything matched up. You know, I put the piece, I laid the piece down as if I was getting ready to fuse it and I made sure it was all trimmed up and everything. And then what you do is you peel the paper off and you, that exposes the glue. And then you put the piece of fabric you fused the glue to onto, in this case, the plastic canvas. And you put a damp cloth over it and you press it. And if that's anything I've learned from watching quilting shows, it's, there's a huge difference between ironing and pressing. I love it when Marianne Fawn says, you iron a shirt, you press a quilt. So with the damp cloth over it, you just press it. You know, press and lift your iron like you do. Um, I used it on the hottest setting on my iron. Um, and I managed not to melt the acrylic felt. Good thing. And so I checked it, made sure that it was, it, it had, you know, firmly glued the fabric to the plastic canvas. And then I checked and there were a few little teensy bits I had to trim up, but not that much. And that's all there is to it, really. Um, I've done this before on a couple of plastic canvas Christmas ornaments I've made. And I just thought he turned out so cute. I'm happy with it. I hope my niece will like it. And I just like to back things. I mean, I guess technically you don't even have to back a piece that you work on a plastic canvas or perforated paper. But to me, like especially with the Christmas ornament, you're going to be putting it away in a box with all other ornaments and you could tear the threads and, you know, things could just get messed up that way. So I really like to back ornaments that I make. And, you know, when you go to like Joanne's Fabric, which is where I bought my fusible web, they have it on bolts like they do fabric. So you can buy as much or as little as you need at, at one time. I bought quite a bunch of it because I just figured, well, I can save it and use it when I need it. Um, but, you know, I just wanted to share this with you. I thought it was, it was fun. It was fun to stitch. And I just thought it turned out cute. And I liked the color of the felt that I used because there's yellow and yellow and pink in the unicorn. So anyway, I just thought I'd share that little tip in case anyone was wondering how you would use fusible web to back an ornament. Um, and that's pretty much all I have right now. I did make a little progress on my robot sampler over the weekend because I beat the buses there, but not by much actually. I was not that far ahead of them, maybe like 10, 15 minutes. But I just got real tired Friday night. We were in bed by 10. Um, we were in bed before the football team, probably, because we were just worn out. Um, and then, of course, last night, yesterday was totally shot. I, I stitched a little bit yesterday morning because, you know, they didn't have the pregame meal and all until noon. So we did have some time together. So I just stitched a little bit. But I'll show you that in my next video. I was just more or less wanting to show you my little finished ornament before I send it off to my niece. And I thank you all for listening. I've gained a few more viewers, which I really do appreciate that. Um, you know, I know that you don't have to sit and listen to me ramble on and on about things. And I just appreciate it. I appreciate the fact that there's people out there who care enough to listen, um, who think that what I'm interested in is interesting to them, too. Uh, so thank you very much for your support. And until next time, I wish you happy stitching and a happy life. And I will see you soon.